Hey guys, welcome back. So today on Cookie with Marty Bell, I'm gonna be making this yummy kimchi fried rice. Now there are different versions on how to make kimchi fried rice, but I'm gonna be showing you the way I like to make it and the way my family loves it. So if you wanna learn how to make this, stay tuned. For your ingredients, you would need some roasted sesame seeds. And over here we have what is called gochichang, and this is Korean chili paste. Um, I bought this at my local Asian market, and I bought the smallest container that they had because we won't even need that much of this. And over here, this is seaweed. This is totally optional. I use it for garnish. Over here, we have three eggs that we're going to uh, mix in with our rice. But you will also need more eggs depending on if you want to fry one and put it on top of your egg. Black pepper, soy sauce, sesame oil, olive oil. And then here, I'm going to be using five cups of cooked white rice that I cooked the day before. You can also do the same or you can cook yours a few hours before you start this recipe. And this is short grain rice that I'm using three garlic cloves, a cup of diced onions, about four to five green onions, a handful of bean sprouts. And for the meat choice, I'm gonna be using beef short ribs. This is about a pound here. We're just gonna chop this up and throw it in the rice. Or you don't have to use meat at all, and trust me, it tastes just as good. And for the star of the show, we have our kimchi. Now, in this video, I did not show you how to make kimchi. I'm sorry, guys, but I will have another recipe video on how to make kimchi. But for now, you can use the ones that they sell in the store. They're, they taste good, too. Um, you can find that at your local Asian market. So whatever works best for you, go ahead and do that. And this is all you will need. All right, so before we get to work on everything else, we're going to get our kimchi here and put it in a strainer over a bowl and we're gonna go ahead and strain all the juices up out of there because we're gonna need all that goodness you could even grab a spoon and press down but make sure you get all that juice yes just like so all right so let's go ahead and cut up our green onions as you can see i am cutting on a slant because for some reason i always do this whenever i make an asian dish <laughs> Now we're gonna go ahead and chop up our garlic. The easiest way for me to do it is just to smash them down with a knife to get that skin off of them. And then just go ahead and chop them up really fine. All right, now we're gonna chop up our beef short ribs. And make sure you get that meat that's in between those bones too. Don't forget that. Get all that goodness up out of there. So just go ahead and chop these up. And this is going to add so much flavor to the rice. This is one of my favorite meat choices to use, especially in this recipe. My goodness, it tastes so good. So go ahead and make, you can also save these bones too if you want to make some um, beef broth. That would be good for that too. And then just go ahead and chop them up into little bite sizes. All right, now it's time to chop up our kimchi. Make sure you save that juice. And we're just gonna go ahead and chop these up into little bite sizes as well. And I am using gloves for this part because kimchi will stain your nails and I just got mine done. So <laughs> if your nails are pretty, go ahead and wear you some gloves. Now in a large skillet or a wok, as I'm using, we're gonna go ahead and add some oil and scramble our three eggs. Remove your eggs and go ahead and add some more oil. Add your chopped onions in there. Your green onions, don't use all of the green onions, use about half right now. 
Go ahead and stir that around for a few minutes. Now add your chopped garlic. And now we're going to add in our beef short ribs. All right, so go ahead and stir that around, mix in those garlic and onions. And now we're going to add some seasoning. We're going to put some black pepper in here and some soy sauce. And then we're just going to go ahead and keep stirring this on the medium high heat for about 15 to 20 minutes. All right, so once it's almost done, go ahead and add your bean sprouts in there. Stir that around for about three or four minutes. Now add in your kimchi. Now go ahead and mix this around for about another five or six minutes. All right, so we're now gonna add in our gochichang, Korean chili paste. Use about two tablespoons. And then just mix that in with everything else. Now scoot everything to one side of your wok and add about a tablespoon of sesame oil. Now add in all your rice. All right, I'm gonna use my spatula to help break up some of this rice here. And the sesame oil will help with that as well. So make sure you um, mix that in with the oil. And now we're going to add in a tablespoon of soy sauce. Some more black pepper. Now go ahead and try to break it up a little bit more. And then just mix everything all together. All right, so during this part, you have to add your kimchi juice. For some reason, I don't know what happened to that video clip, it disappeared, but this is the time to add that kimchi juice in there. And now we're gonna add some more green onion. Make sure you do save just a little bit more for garnish when you're all done. Go ahead and mix that all in together. And then add those eggs in there. All right, now let's see what this tastes like. So I did add in another tablespoon of soy sauce and then it was perfect after that. Now I like to fry an egg and put it over my rice. This is optional, you can do the same. And there you all have it, kimchi fried rice, Mari Bell style. <laughs> With a fried egg on top and a little bit of sriracha sauce, mm, mm, mm. it was really good. You guys have to try this one. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you all for watching. Enjoy!